This is day 48 in the Gaza-Israel war, and I'm Yair Pinto reporting to you from Israel. The fighting on Israel's northern front against Hezbollah continues, and in the past 24 hours, it intensified when the Hezbollah Lebanese organization that is sponsored by Iran launched a massive artillery attack that targeted Israeli communities next to the border with Lebanon, as well as IDF positions. Hezbollah launched mortars, missiles, and anti-tank rockets towards the Israeli communities, causing damage to vehicles and other infrastructure, but not harming any Israeli civilians or IDF troops. The IDF retaliated by striking the locations from which these attacks took place, and according to reports, in a special operation, the IDF was able to locate and destroy a command bunker of Hezbollah, killing a few leaders. One of them is the son of a Hezbollah parliament member. This shows that the IDF is taking the fight to the next level against Hezbollah in the north and singling to the Hezbollah organization that we are not here to mess around and Israel will not stop before taking actions against their leaders. The fighting in the West Bank continues as well as the IDF is conducting more and more preventive operations in an attempt to locate the Palestinian terror cells before they launch attacks against Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and other Israeli locations throughout the heart of the Jewish state. This battle is very complicated and long we need your help to share these videos to the world. The world needs to know what is happening here in Israel. The international community is applying pressure on Israel to stop the fighting before we complete our mission and destroy Hamas. Israel cannot stop until Hamas is destroyed for the sake of Israel, but also for the sake of the entire world because Hamas is an ideology and ideologies spread easily to the rest of the world. So help us by praying for the peace of Jerusalem and by standing with Israel.